If you saw the last video, we got this trailer road ready so I could drop it off at the welder. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I got it back and the welding is complete. Before we get started on the trailer upgrades, I had some gnarly cuts into the braces on a couple spots on the boat. They did a killer job welding it up. Check this out. If you guys are on the Tiny Boat Nation group on Facebook, that's actually where I got the recommendation from. So shout out to you guys. That was a really big help. All right, guys. Well, my first mod is a simple but necessary one. Front bow roller is absolutely destroyed. It has worn through the center rubber and it's starting to hit the middle spine here. I started messing with it a little bit and it absolutely just fell apart in my hands. The only thing that was left on it was the press cap. These little tabs that prevent it from backing off. If you look on the inside, you see the tabs are. I use a little tiny screwdriver to like tap right under those tabs to try to bend them back a little bit. And then I use the big screwdriver and the sledgehammer to actually work it off the spine. With this removed, I got a silicone one. These are supposed to last longer and not mar up the front of the boat. It's bolts, so it's easier to replace. It's not the press caps. This has a three inch gap, so the three inch center should fit in the middle here. So we're coming in from the outside with the roller in place. Run that through with the roller. And then the bolt. Now what I'm trying to do is basically bring it close enough so the roller is meeting with the other parts, but not um, pinching where it won't spin. I want this to be able to spin freely in the middle. It's pretty close. It's a little too tight. I'm going to back it off a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. So now that that's complete, we can move on to the next thing. And that is going to be a swivel trailer jack. This is the one that was currently on the boat. As you can see, it is absolutely thrash. Missing the crank handle, it's all rusted, and it was just due for an upgrade. As with all the products in this video, I'll have links in the description if you guys wanna check them out. Oh, wow. All right, well, I can tell you just from holding this, this is a much heavier duty one than the one from Menards. It was roughly the same price, but this bracket down here is really thick. It's, you know, nice heavy duty wheel. The next thing I need to do now is get this snap ring off so this can go onto my trailer mount. Now, if your trailer doesn't have this mount already built into it, you would just be using the clamping system. If you want to see how to do that, I have it in another video and I'll link that in the description and in a card right now. So if you've never done a snap ring before, it's super simple. You just have to have snap ring pliers. So the way you get this ring off is your pliers slot into each of the holes. Then you squeeze the pliers together. The ring expands. And then you can get something under the ring and work the ring off. Be careful because these rings can come flying out at you. All right, and here's the ring. So with the ring off, it should come right off the plate and it does. The snap ring actually sits in the channel in there. So I wanted to clean that up. One thing I'm gonna do is just square a little bit of WD-40 on here, that way for the ring to slide on, it slides on a little bit easier. When in doubt, lube it up. So this is where the snap ring needs to go. I'm gonna get the one side started. All right, so once you get the one side in the groove, you can just kind of work it around. This is where that WD-40 comes in handy. You use these pliers to just open it up a little bit. All right. So now the trailer is fully supported by a swivel jack. We can move it around the garage or wherever else you need to, raise it up and down to put it on your hitch. Pull this handle right here out. The swivel jack comes up and then this gets stowed as you're trailering. All right, guys, for the next mod, we're gonna be replacing the trailer winch. So before we get to installing this, let's go ahead and get the old winch off. Now 
This was the reason why I wanted to get it replaced. The inside here is super rusted out. So I'm gonna keep this bolt set. It's actually still in really good condition. So we'll use this to mount up the new winch. As you can see, the new one is gonna be much bigger and sturdier. I looked on the side and this is actually a 600 pound winch versus a 1500 pound winch. So I am much happier going to a little bit beefier of a winch. So this winch actually mounts in the reverse way the other one does. So the handle is actually going to be on the left hand side of the trailer. All right, since we're using the same bolts, we're already hooked up with the same hardware. See, there's a flat side, goes on the flat side. That way it'll crank it. I'm gonna go ahead and thread on the lock nut. We're gonna hook it up under the bow roller, that way when the winch pulls it in, it's being pulled down onto the bow roller. And now the winch has been replaced. The last thing I want to add to this trailer is a new transom saver. In my previous video, I removed it to better work on replacing the bunks. So since then, I have got a new transom saver and I really like the mount that came with the trailer. I'm going to use these same mounting holes, but drill straight through the trailer. I went and picked up some new hardware and we're going to bolt it through and then that'll secure this on. The bolts in here. All right, so with the base installed, the last part is just putting on the transom saver. This part's rather easy. It just slides right in place. You put your pin in. And then this just uh, clips on like that. Now, once we actually get the motor mounted up, we can adjust this for length. With the transom saver installed, that pretty much finishes up the trailer rebuild for now. I do have some other things planned for the future, but right now my focus is getting this boat on the water. Get the missing rivet replaced, do a water test while it's on the trailer to find any other leaking rivets and either rebuck them or replace them. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the Jumbo Bell and see when it gets on the water, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So if you saw the title of the video, so if you saw the title of my video, so if you saw the title of the video, this is my...